Well, the longest running series in NBC primetime history, no one tell a story like Dateline. The series kicks off its 30th season tomorrow night with the story of a triple homicide that rocked a quiet Kentucky town. Take a look. They took us back there to that house, told us about walking inside so soon after the murder, still in some sort of stupor of shock. You're coming in and it looks perfectly fine. I mean, everything was, was normal. I specifically said to the police, where is it that we shouldn't go? And they said, you know, don't go down the steps. So, of Thank course, you went see. there. That's, yeah, it, I did. Oh, and we have oh, Dateline's uh, Keith Morrison and Dennis Murphy with us yeah. now. Guys, good to see you. How are Sarah, you? Thank you. It's I, you know, when you said that, the, the way you said about the longest running show, 30 it, years, it, sort of, it suddenly hit me. Wow, come on. I, I know. I, I, mean, I was going to say 30 years. Can you wrap your brain around that? What does no. it mean to you? I know. I'll have to take a nap. That this is, this is the longest running show in history. What does it mean to you guys? <laughs> well, I was, a, I was around in the very beginning. Keith came, yeah. I think, a few years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's the old one. Was, I'm, uh, I'm just a kid compared to him. <laughs> they used to call it uh, three stories without without Andy Rooney. You know, we were yeah. sort of doing a 60 right. minutes yeah. Dateline uh -huh. thing. And there would be celebrity stories and murder stories and uh, yeah. investigative things. But it was on almost every day of the week. Oh, my God. And five nights a week, yeah. And the, and the conveyor belt was going. I, I was thinking of Lucy packing the... The chocolates. the chocolates. We were so busy yeah. running from one part of the country to the other doing stories about all kinds of things. And it was, it okay. was amazing. But it was a great boot camp. Yeah. And now there's a Peacock channel devoted to the show. There's a podcast that have been downloaded over 400 million times. I mean, this what guy is, is the star of the podcast world. Get out of Isn't here. that crazy? 400 it, million times? Yes. What has it been like seeing mm. this show grow to the phenomenon that it's become? Yeah, it's been gratifying, but I, I, if I said it was expected, I'd be lying to you. Yeah. I, I, I have no I, idea. We've been down in the boiler room just getting our stuff done. <laughs> yeah. Sort of yeah. Aware of what, mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm really glad that people have embraced the show because I think yeah. that somehow Dateline is filling something in the popular culture. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's fans love the show, but when you're watching it, it feels like you guys really love doing this show, too. You get so absorbed in these stories. You're getting, yeah. You really get hooked in them. And... Um, you know, at the beginning of a lot of these stories, because they're pretty grisly, some of them, I I d I'm, I'm hesitant, and I know that there's a family that is going through the worst time of its that life. That is the yeah. worst part of it. Yeah. And, um, and I don't want to, you know, I want to be respectful of these people. I don't want to make it worse for them. Right. Um, but then you get into the details of the story, and it's so absorbing. You, you, you know, which side is right and which side is wrong? Is he guilty? Is he not guilty? It's yeah. A, it's, 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 it's a fascinating a, process. A big piece of the universe is a hole ripped in it, but these families go through these terrible things. I yeah. know, and you're there on the front lines of this. And then we show up, and they tell us their story of the worst thing that's ever happened to them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's stories like this all over the news all the time. Obviously, right now, Gabby Petito, Alex Murdaugh. When these stories are unfolding, are you immediately start thinking about this is a story we need to cover and kind of wrap your head around it starts to percolate it does although frankly i don't know i think dennis well, we would probably agree with yeah. me we 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 prefer to do the kind that don't have that sort of daily yeah. presence i mean that the whole world is following that story so why should we they we'll do something along, else along. You know. what i thought was interesting with this one Keith, how the armchair detectives are there on their laptops yes. yeah. that's right looking at virtually the same stuff that yeah. the investigators are yeah and saying look at that piece of something on the dashboard i'm making yeah. it up but they're coming up with with threads of ideas for them this is a new phenomenon everything in law is, enforcement it's a be more and more circuit and echo chamber everything is feeding back in right? yeah, yeah. Well, Dennis, you've said before um, that it's not about the murder, it's about the marriage. So I'm just curious, have you learned any marriage tips for people, for couples, <laughs> so that they don't end up on your like, show? Like hide the steak knife, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't go yeah, near any cliffs. I, I, early on, I mean, we were talking about doing this procedural murder, and it occurred mm -hmm. to me, he says, well, we're really not doing this. We're doing stories. It should be called not true crime, but true relationships. True yeah, romance. it is a lot about the relationships. I've noticed, yeah. we talked about this this week, is that the word that keeps coming up is uh, is obsessive, controlling. Yeah. If yeah. that dynamic is in the relationship, sure. it's that's a, red a flag. screaming, you know, the clocks. It, it really is. Yeah. It really is. I think well, one of the reasons a lot of women like our program is, is it, it's, it's, it's kind of an a tacit recognition that it's women who are facing the danger in many of these situations yeah. because it's the intimate partner who frequently is I know my husband always says to me, if anything happens to me, then they're going to go up. After anything happens to you, they're going to go after me first. <laughs> uh, but you know what? You guys have a, have left a legacy with this 30 years. You also have a cardboard cutout in the NBC store downstairs, <laughs> which that, must feel real? pretty cool. Yes. 
You got to go get well, we one. Had one of you. We had one upstairs. You know, they took it out to the skating rink and played soccer with it. Yeah, we're going to go pick up a couple of these later. You can catch the season premiere of Dateline tomorrow at 9 p.m. here on NBC. Guys, thanks so much for stopping. Thank you, Sarah. Nice to see you.